What's good YouTube, it's TC coming again with another video and in this video I wanted to talk about some of the things that I've learned as a SOC analyst. Um, and I wanted to talk about how in the beginning, like when you're searching for a job and maybe when you land a job, you know, you'll always have that imposter syndrome. Especially if you come from a background that's not IT related. Like, or maybe if your first job is in cybersecurity, you know, you'll have those thoughts like, am I ready? Um, do I know what I need to know? Um, you know, you just be feeling like a fraud sometimes, I guess. And I think that's something that a lot of people deal with. It's definitely something that I deal with. And from time to time, I still have a bit of imposter syndrome, if I'm being honest. When <clears throat> when those big, when the big alerts come in, you know, I always make it my business to run to them, but you know, sometimes if I feel like I made a mistake or if I didn't do something right, I'll be in my head about it. And I don't know. It's like, so one thing I want to add to that is when you make mistakes, mistakes are completely normal, completely normal. It's all about making those mistakes and then learning from them so you don't make those same mistakes again. You know, because at the end of the day, we're dealing with very sensitive information, um, businesses and the company that you work for. They're depending on you to make good and sound decisions. So as long as you're learning from your mistakes, you're not making the same mistakes good. I mean, again, as long as you're learning from your mistakes and you're not making those same mistakes, you should be good. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is how you'll always be learning. Like, I've been a SOC analyst coming up on a year, and I know there are people who have been in, in this industry for a lot, lot longer than I have. Maybe maybe even longer than I've been alive. I'm 25, and I know a couple people that I follow on different social media sites that are in the industry for 25 plus 30 years, whatever the case may be, and you're always going to be learning. Um, and it's like once you learn something new, it takes you down a different rabbit hole. You're you're figuring out something else that you need to learn. So it's one of those things where, you know, just be prepared to be a student for the majority of your career, I would say. Maybe even all of it. Because there, there's so much to learn about computers, networks, and security, and how everything works, that I don't think there's anybody who knows absolutely everything. Like, you know, you may have those experts, you know, things like that. But even those guys... They're still learning. Um, so learning is, that's just a part of the game. But if you're one of those people who you just love to figure out how things work and you have a drive and determination to just understand the basic and core fundamentals of something, security will be something that you really enjoy. I mean, even outside of security, like me personally, whenever I'm building something or if I'm trying to figure something out, I make it my business to try to figure out how it's working. How can I get it to work if it's not working? What am I doing wrong? And it's like I sometimes I get caught up in hours and hours of trying to figure it out. Like when I was building my PC, um, the first time I built it, because I had to take everything apart and rebuild it a couple of times. So when I was rebuilding it, I just couldn't get it to work the first couple of times. And I just got lost in it. I didn't even care how much time I spent because I love computers. I love technology. I love building things. Um, but it didn't make any difference to me how long I spent it. As long as I got to say that I built it and I um, I figured it out. And that, I guess that's a good segue into being able to figure out the answer to something. Whether it be researching, troubleshooting, or However it takes to lead you to an answer, you have to be really good at that. Because a, a lot of my job is when I'm analyzing files, um, I have to utilize the Internet. And I have to utilize multiple sources to be able to make a sound decision about something. So I have multiple tools in my arsenal that I use to analyze IP addresses, files, file hashes, things like that. So... Being able to find the answer to something, I think that's that's a big percentage of what we do as security professionals and maybe even in IT in general. Um, but things, you have to know that things will be hard. Um, 
because it's like when you're analyzing a file or trying to determine the severity level of something, you have to take a, a big um, range of information and then compress it enough to be able to come to a conclusion about whatever it is fast enough because depending on the severity level, there are certain ways that you have to handle something. Um, and that's that's really important. So as long as you can put all of these things together, all of these um, forms of research, these indicators, um, the timing, all of these different things, as long as you can put that together, I think you would, um, you'll be good. But fighting past the imposter syndrome, fighting past the, the hard times when you can't figure something out, having to ask for help, those are things that it just comes with the game. Um, so I would say try not to beat yourself up about it and make sure that, you know, you give yourself some grace. You're new to this. You're still learning. And a lot of the times, if you've landed a job at a great company who prioritizes good training and culture and everything else, you have resources available to you so that you can ask questions. The, um, the training is in-depth. I mean, like, those things really shape your first experience with your first job. And it's very important because I think that it can, like, have an impact on your future and the things that you do after your first job or wherever you decide to go. So those are some things I want to talk about um, as far as some of the things that I've learned as being an analyst coming up on a year. I'm very grateful for the opportunity still. Um, and I want to build a platform where I can connect with other people who are new to the industry. And I just pass on some of the things that I've learned, the motivation, um, and just anything that I can do to help out somebody else coming into the industry or maybe early in their, their career like I am. I just want to be able to be a resource and just help people out, man. I'm, I'm really passionate about that. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and even share this video. Um, I'm coming up on 200 subscribers. And if you've been here, I really do want to say thank you. Um, I, I think it's just crazy. Um, I just, I was just led to make videos and I guess, you know, you guys resonate with the videos and I think it's dope to watch. It's dope to see my channel growing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.